morning, the state's education commissioner is set to give an update on the return to school, but not every student in Massachusetts went back to the classroom. Some parents are keeping their children at home because of COVID-19. Boston 25 News reporter Evan White joins us live this morning ahead of that meeting. Evan, good morning. Gene, good morning to you. We're a little bit less than a half an hour from that meeting starting, and it's going to take place here at the McCormick Building. Typically, you see these meetings in Malden at Desi headquarters, but it is actually happening here today. You see the increased police presence as well. There have been protests outside of some of these meetings in the past. The es essentially, we're looking at is some parents say that they want to see a remote option restored. That was taken off the table by the state earlier in the year. Now, some concerned parents spoke yesterday at a news conference, a virtual news conference. Among them, some of the parents have kids with pre-existing conditions that put them at greater risk for COVID, such as asthma. Others say the Delta variant has made sending their kids to school an unsafe option. One infectious disease doctor tells us that so long as students and faculty members keep their masks on, schools have not been sites for significant COVID spread. But even with mild infections, children can develop side effects known as multi system inflammatory syndrome in children. Two to eight weeks later, they're being hospitalized because they're sick with severe fever, low blood pressure. Sometimes they're so sick they need to be on a ventilator. And we can't predict which child that is going to happen to. Now, today's meeting is being streamed. It starts at 930, but there is an in-person in -person part of that. And that is why parents, some of them, are coming here, they say, to be able to speak out about the remote option. For now, we're live in Boston.